Hello everyone, this is continuation of the video which I had posted earlier regarding the UPSC CMS 2023 must know things before filling the form. So in the last video, we had discussed about the educational qualification for the UPSC CMS 2023 and uh, one time registration you have to do before filling the form. So if you, you haven't watched that video, you can I'll share the link in the description. You can go and watch that video and then you can come to this video. So in this video, we're going to discuss about uh, the category certificates and about the age limit. So regarding the category certificates, uh, ca candidates seeking uh, reservation uh, for the various categories. So uh, last year, because of this, many candidates who had qualified for the written examination had disqualified from the interview part of the UPSC CMS. So this is the most important part. Last year, many people have uh, messaged me regarding this, what they have to do after they get disqualification because of this certificate. The main reason was that the date of the certificate, the date of the certificate should be before the last date of the filling of application form. So you should keep this in mind, the date of application, so your date of your category certificate should be before the filling, uh, last date of filling the application form and it should be very uh, compulsory that it should be before that date and uh, UPSC is very particular about this, so you need to keep this all these things in mind. So uh, central government have a certain list of the reserve communities. So if you are belong to that, then only you can apply uh, to this SCST, OBC, EWS, physically handicapped and ex-servicemen. And all the prescribed format is given the UPSC site. So I gonna share all the link so you can go that and even see what all category you belong to and which uh, prescribed format you have to get your certificate. The candidate will be eligible to get benefit of the economically weaker section uh, reservation only in case the candidate meets the criteria issued by the central government and in possession of such eligibility certification. Uh, so central government have some prescribed format for the EWS certificate also. So you can go, that, go to that link and you can see and uh, if your state have the same uh, criteria as the, as the state uh, central government then your state certificate will be valid otherwise you have to make that certificate in the central government format. Uh, EWS uh, can apply, a candidate applying for the Combined Medical Services Exemption 2023 must produce an income and asset certification for the financial year 2020-2022 and 23. Now this is for the OBC uh, candidates. The OBC candidates applying for the Combined Medical Services Examination 2023 must produce OBC non creamy layer certificate based on the income of the financial year 2022-2023, 2021 and 2022 and 2020 and 2021. Once the candidate has chosen a reserve category, very important thing I want to tell you now. Once you have chosen some uh, reserve category, no request shall be entertained or for the change to the other reserve category. And uh, if the candidate indicates in his her application form uh, of the that UPSC CMS that he or she belongs to the general category and but subsequently uh, write, he writes to the commission that he want to change his uh, category to reserve one and then it's not be allowed to change your category. So all these things you have to keep in mind before filling the form and uh, this is the important thing I'm telling. Again, I'm repeating the last date of your category certificate. It should be before last date of filling of application form. And because of this, last year many people had got disqualified from the interview. So you should also keep in mind while filling the form and for this year. So uh, if you'll see the age limit part. So many people had asked the query regarding the age limit. So I thought I'll tell in this video and regarding some relaxation for the, some category people also I will discuss in this video. So can, candidate for this examination must not attain the age of 32 years as on the 1st uh, of August 2023 means uh, before the 1st August 2023 you must, start, uh, must have not attained the age of 32 years. The age must uh, like uh, your uh, age must uh, have been born not earlier than 2nd August 1991. And uh, but there is one uh, exception that if you if you want to uh, fill the f only for the CGHS that is Central Government Health Services then uh, age is 35 year. Some uh, upper limit uh, upper age limit relaxation in some of the categories. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you in like year wise like uh, government has given three year relaxation to uh, to the people belonging to OBC category and defense services personnel disabled in any uh, def defense activity or def defense operations. A uh, five-year relaxation has been given to the SCST and emergency commissioned officers and short service commission officers in the defense uh, department and 10-year relaxation given to the bl blindness or low vision, mainly disabled people like locomotor disability, deaf and dumb uh, people, AC victims, muscular dystrophy people, autism, intellectual disability people, all these people will get 10-year relaxation as given for the same uh, people. 
so these are the basic point you should know before uh, filling the form so i hope all these things uh, you should keep in mind before filling the form and you, you should watch the first video which i posted regarding the educational qualification and the otr so if you haven't watched that video go and watch first and then come to this video so hope all the uh, all these uh, videos will gonna help you uh, during filling the form if you have any doubt you can directly message me on insta telegram or the facebook page i'll try to answer or you can also comment in uh, below this video i gonna share the link all the links of the prescribed format of the certificate also and link of that part uh, last video also to so hope uh, you all have uh, enjoyed this video to so kindly share subscribe and follow my channel so i will Uh, upload some more videos uh, to help you all so thank you and thanks a lot for watching